In this video, we're going to take a look at getting started with Revoice Pro 5 when using Ableton Live version 11.3 and above. If you're looking for more feature-specific in-depth tutorials, these can be found on our website. Let's get started. All right, so let's take a quick listen to the tracks that we're going to be working with. Okay, so all in all, really great performance. That being said, I do want to make some adjustments to both the tuning and the timing. So let's get these lead vocals sent over to Revoice Pro 5. I'm going to navigate to my plugins and under the VST3 folder, if we navigate to the bottom under the Synchro Arts folder, we have Revoice Pro Link. I'm going to drag and drop an instance of Revoice Pro Link to each one of these audio tracks that I want to send over. So now directly from within the plugin GUI, we can actually start Revoice Pro if it's not already running. And then I'm going to click the Show Revoice Pro and let's rename the tracks before we bring our audio in. We'll call this Lead Vocal. We'll tab over and we'll call this lead vocal double. Also, while we're here, I'm just gonna auto size my track header width. Now back in Ableton, we are going to select the first track and let's map out the destination to lead vocal. And then on the second instance, let's map it out to lead vocal double. Holding down shift, I'm going to enable capture and this will enable capture for both of these plugins at the same time. And now I'm going to make a highlighted range selection and let's engage our capture. Okay, perfect. So now that we've sent these over, let's click the Show Revoice Pro tab. And now we're working in Revoice. I'm going to click Tracks and let's auto size track heights. This just helps maximize screen real estate a little bit. Now, the first thing that I want to do is tune this main lead vocal. So I'm going to right click and let's adjust pitch, timing, and level. This will allow us to make any changes that we need to. I'm going to click the solo, so we're just isolating this vocal. Now on both of these tracks, instead of viewing all channels, I'm going to navigate to channel one. So we're only seeing one branch, the left side of a stereo signal. And now let's go full screen and let's begin. Now when it comes to tuning, there's a number of different approaches that you can take. And one really easy way to do this in Revoice Pro is clicking the Alter Option modifier key plus W. This will automatically tune your entire performance to 100%. And this is of course based on the sung performance in relation to a chromatic scale. That being said, I want to actually take a look at some of the manual tuning adjustments that we can. So let's zoom in on this pitch block for a moment. If we highlight across a pitch block, notice that we have these different control points as we hover our mouse over these little blocks. In the bottom right, we have the ability to dial up our correction amount from 0 to 100%. In the bottom left, we have the ability to adjust the drift. You can see the pitch trace is being redrawn in real time as we're doing this. If you need to make any adjustments to the level of your vocal, that's something that we can do directly from here. If we hover over the top, notice we have the ability to flatten out the modulation of the pitch trace. And this will obviously lead to a more artificial or synthetic sounding performance. Conversely, we can do the opposite if we wanted to exaggerate or accentuate that pitch trace. And then last but not least, we can click, hold and drag to simply move a note manually into position where we can tune by ear. And at any given point in time, we can either double click or right click and choose the reset selected notes and scroll to all changes to reset this back to where it was before. That being said, I'm actually going to take a different approach with this performance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the command A to select everything. Let's right click and navigate to the center notes tool. This is a great way to just dial up some pitch correction and we can see this happening in real time as I'm moving this slider up we can go between zero and 100%. So what I think we'll do is we'll switch back to the selector tool and let's have a listen to how this performance sounds with these adjustments that I've made. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You, again. Guess I need somebody, body. Okay, so I'm happy with that except for this one area over here. Let's see what we can do about this. I'm going to right click and let's navigate to our cutter tool. And I'm gonna put a little slice right over here. And now let's navigate back to our selector tool and double clicking these, we'll snap them both to 100%. 
and then making a selection across here and choosing the M key will smooth join this cut, this transition that we just made. So let's navigate back to the beginning here and let's listen to the rest. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Okay, so for sake of demonstration, let's say that I'm happy with that. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to make a match process, which will take the timing and the tuning of this vocal and apply it to this bottom one. So I'm going to click the B key, and this brings up the new process panel. Now from here, we're going to match the timing and the pitch from this vocal on the selected audio. In terms of presets, let's navigate to a recently used preset. And now we're going to be using the lead vocal as our guide track and the lead vocal double as our double. Let's go ahead and create that new process. So now that this is done, we can have a quick listen. We have our before. Guess I need somebody, somebody body like you. Need somebody body like you. And our after. Guess I need somebody body like you. Need somebody body like you. Okay, so quite a drastic difference there. Now I'm going to head back into Ableton. And because we're using the Revoice Pro Link plugin, if we press play in our timeline, we're going to be listening to those cached outputs from Revoice Pro 5. Guess I need somebody body like you. Need somebody body like you. Okay, perfect. So I'm happy with those changes. The next thing that I want to do is I want to make them permanent and actually render them into these files. So I'm going to select both tracks and let's right click and we can freeze tracks. After these tracks are frozen, I'm going to take this one step further. I'm going to right click and I'm now going to flatten these. So now we have a brand new starting point for these vocals. I need somebody, body like you. And then of course I could go on with my production. I could edit these and mix them as needed. Now the one last thing I want to do is I'm hearing a double that's happening over the female lead vocal, just a stereo double. So because we have this track still in Revoice Pro, I'm going to head over to this and select it. And I'm going to click the B key again to bring up the new process panel. But this time, instead of a match process, we are going to click a doubler process. Now from here, we will go with selected audio. And in terms of presets, let's go with stereo vocal mild. Our lead vocal is going to be our input and our output will be automatic. Let's create this process. So now we have a vocal double that I can layer in over the whole entire song if I want to, or just a specific spot. You again. Now the next thing I need to do is get this over into Ableton. So I'm going to select the output. I will hold down Shift and Option, click and hold until we get this little icon. And then now I'm just going to drag and drop this right onto the Ableton timeline. Now, because I use the selected audio in terms of the length or duration of the audio file, we can just manually align this with the front of the other ones. So let's have a listen to the three of these against each other. Again. Perfect. So at this point, I think that I only really need this double happening at the very end. So maybe we'll trim that back and extend that out just a little bit. So now let's head back to the beginning and have a listen to our final result. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. So that's using Revoice Pro 5 when using Ableton Live 11.3 and above. If you're looking for more feature-specific in-depth tutorials, these can be found on our website.